I have just connected up question number 12 circuit which is on page 19 in your booklets and this one has got um, it's a parallel circuit and let's just look at the question only asks you for to measure the current at different parts in the branches but just look at the voltage as well so the voltage across this branch is 20 volts the voltage across the middle branch is also 20 volts the voltage across this branch with the lamp is 20 and the voltage across this lowest branch with the resistor is also 20. So the thing that we need to remember from here is that in a parallel circuit, the voltage across each branch is the same. Okay, I've changed the resistances of the lamp and the resistors um, so that we get different currents. So let's just look at the current that is, so that's an emitter that measures current and that's always connected in series with a circuit. So let's just look at the current coming out of the battery. This is seven amps, okay? Now let's just look at the current. So what happens is when the current comes over here, it splits into two. So the current going through this branch is four amps. And then the remaining three amps goes here because four, it's all together seven. And then four amps goes there. There's three remaining. And after three, when it comes to this junction, it splits again. Two amps goes here. And what's left is the one amp. So the one amp goes through this bottom branch. And looking at where, I'm just dragging this. So when it comes here, it becomes three because you've got the one amp from here and you've got the two amps from here and they join and you get three amps. Now, when you take it up further, you get the three amps from here meets up with the four amps from here and you get the seven amps and it's seven amps going through the battery. Okay, so this is just explaining how the current divides in a parallel circuit and how the voltage across each branch is the same.